6.05. I'm still wrapped up in the bed. I was up about 3 o'clock, stayed up for about an hour and a half, went back to bed. But this time as I'm waking up, getting ready to get out of the bed, I'm feeling very strongly to invite the collective in the prayer and to maybe discuss, I don't know, but um, I would like to just lift up our voices, our hearts as one to the creator, to the universe, because we are coming to the peak of the choices being made. It's like, I want to say, I'm proud of our people, our community, of the, you know, of us as a whole. I'm proud of us. We are making wise decisions to do what's best for our future. To do what's best for all that's included in our lives. You know, to bring about peace and happiness true peace, true happiness, true love. We're doing what we're needing to do to follow our true selves within. Not living for anyone else, but deciding to live for ourselves. You know, to do right by yourself, to love yourself. So, again, I'm coming to the creator, the universe, God, bringing us as one, speaking as one, and asking that we have the courage to make these decisions because we're coming, I know we're coming into new territory, new turf that we haven't entered in before, whether it's career, whether it's relocating, love, whatever the choices may be, we're, we're being called to make Choices that's pulling out of us courage, removing fear, or even making the choices while we're still afraid. So I'm asking Father, Universe, Angels, God, to just help us stay on the right track, give us that clarity, give us the courage, give us that that extra confirmation that we're needing, give us that extra push, give us that extra enlightenment that we need, the inspiration, the strong desire to just go forward and make that leap of faith. Following our hearts, let it be known that this is peace and joy and love from within. Let us know that 
we're no longer doing what is required by others while displeasing ourselves. It is not those times anymore. It is times that everybody stand in their truth, in their own truth, to seek the lives that we're truly wanting. That means we stand up in our own truth, our own truth. We're coming to the time right now where we're going to get a lot of different opinions, a lot of different advice regarding our decisions. It's not time now to back down. It's not time now to go into confusion. It's not time now to go into doubt or to, to sink back into the fear. Stay on that path. Stay on the track. Stay on the path, the track, the decision that brings peace inside. Only you know which one that is. No matter what it looks like, sound like, to others, do what brings peace to you within. This is going to be our treasure chest at the end of the rainbow. Our true bliss. is following our true self desire because we are God and we are creators where we design, create our world. It is so beautiful if we could do it with someone, come together as a collective, partners, friends, family, or some of the goals. Excuse me. On some of the goals that we're trying to achieve. It will be beautiful to come together as a people, as friends, family, community, whatever the case may be. But a relationship, it will be so beautiful to make these leaps of faith with someone or others, someone else or others. But you and God alone is all that is needed. We stand up in our deity and make that move. Keep creating. Keep being the God that you are. Love yourself. Stay on that vibration of loving yourself. Because when you're loving yourself, you're going to love others with the truth as well. As within, so without. So love yourself first. And you will love others as well.
So, thank you for the power. Thank you for the vision. Thank you for the clarity. Thank you for the open road, open pathway, open skies. Thank you for the wings that we fly. Thank you for the courage. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the unity. Thank you for the peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the light that shines on our path and the lamp that's lit up our every steps that we take. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the divine partners. Thank you for the divine love that's being connected. Thank you for the divine futures, the divine destinies. Thank you. Thank you for leaning on the hearts of those that are in place to make these decisions that these doors will be opened from. Thank you. Thank you that those that are being separated from. Thank you for giving them the understanding to let it go that everyone can be in their true place. Thank you. Thank you that drama, strife, anger is no longer in our path. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for our growth, spirit, soul, and body. Thank you. Thank you for our health. Thank you. As we rise, our health rise. As we rise, our money rise. As we rise, our vision rise. As we rise, our love rise. As we rise, everything, including us, rise. Everything surrounding us rise. Everything involving us rise. Thank you that we are currency. We are money. Thank you. Thank you that we are revelation. Thank you that we are inspiration. Thank you. Thank you, we are love. Thank you that we are loved. Thank you. Thank you for the timely fashion of being set. Thank you. Thank you. I love everybody, and I pray everybody's choices stay on the path of love, peace, and happiness. Have a great day.